Hello, it's Kevin from Pork Pie Hatters. What we're going to talk about right now is what to do with your hat when it rains. Um, I've got a uh, customer's hat here. Um, he brought in this, looks like a Borsalino from, uh, I don't know, pretty recent, not old, a few years old maybe. Um, this is a typical hat when somebody brings it in to get reshaped, you know, just to show you. Everybody basically does the same stuff, and it's the same process, you know, sort of like the way shoes get worn out. Um, hats get worn out the same way. Everybody does the same sort of mistakes. And um, if you're just sort of slightly educated from your hat salesman, you can actually learn how to keep your hats for 20, 30, 40 more uh, years. Uh, you could keep them a lifetime. Uh, there was a lot of hats that outlived the wearer. We get plenty of people bringing in their grandfather's hats, and, you know, hats from the 40s and 30s, um, and they look good. But um, most of these hats should not get destroyed in the rain. It's kind of like, um, it's our little mistakes that we make that makes them go out of shape a little bit more each time. Um, there's a sort of a checklist of a bunch of things you have to do with your hats now. The first thing is you eat the crooked soft brims that go flat and there's no snap left anymore. Um, that's the sort of most common thing. Uh, I'd say the second most common thing is the pinched crown, you know, from grabbing it lots of times. Um, you know, it has to be sort of separated, you know, and it's like pulled apart and then, uh, you know, like reshaped, take the dents out. But um, this all comes from keeping your hat flat on the table. Uh, we grab the crown, we keep grabbing, 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 grabbing to pick it up, pick it up, and, you know, it starts looking like a grip. And then when it's wet, it dries like that, that shape locks in. So now every time you pop it, you pop it back, it pops back to, you see? This fellow shape is kind of grip-like because it dries like that. So what you do with your hat, step number one, after the rain, now here's another thing, these steps are very important for wet hats, but they apply for wet or dry hats. Um, same thing, you treat the, the hat the same way, it's just more important when it's wet, I guess. Um, it's when the hat is more vulnerable and stuff and problems happen a little bit more often and just uh, more intensely. So, um, step number one, don't put the hat flat on the table. Uh, what you want to do is hang the hat, a hook, a nail, a, uh, I don't know, a hat rack, what do you call it, like a coat rack with the thing on the top for the hats. That's fine, a doorknob. Uh, as long as the brim is sort of floating in the air, it's fine. It doesn't matter if it's this side or that side or whatever. The idea is no weight on the brim. The brim is floating so that it dries in the up position. Never dry it down. You want it to dry in the up position straight. You can even run your hands around it. Get some, you know, little kinks out. So you want to straighten it out a little bit. Keep it in its up position. Hang it up or put it upside down. Same thing. The brim is floating. That's fine. Basically, anything but flat is good. Upside down or hung up. Uh, that's the rule. Step number two. Let's say step number two is keep the hat away from heat. Heat is probably the number two big, biggest destroyer of hats. Number one is leaving them flat on the table, grabbing them, messing the, the brim up from the table, messing the crown up from grabbing it. Uh, number two is heat. Now you just want to keep these away from heat. Um, if your house is heated, it's December or January, February, and there's steam heat coming out of the radiators, that means uh, your hats can dry out and they could dry too quickly. So the wet hat has to be in a cool place. So I'll bring it into the bathroom and crack the window, keep the door closed, you know, so the draft doesn't get in. Put it in the kitchen, crack the window open a little bit, hang it up doorknob or whatever, um, close the door so you know, the whole house doesn't get cold, but crack that window open. You can't let these wool hats or fur felt hats dry in the heat. Um, with wool felts, they're shrinking. With fur felt hats, the leather might be just shrinking, not so much the 
the fur, but um, more with wool felt. But uh, you're definitely shrinking the hat in the leather. It's just not good. Um, keep it away from heat. Let it dry at a uh, regular pace, you know, room temperature, whether it's a hat and cap, a leather hat, a uh, musical instrument, you know, something made out of wood, like furniture, guitar, keep it away from heat. Um, heat will just destroy these things and dehydrate them. Um, okay, that's step number two. Number one was keep it off the table. Hanging and upside down is preferred. Step number two, keep it away from heat. Let it dry in a cool place. Number three, getting back to the crown. The crown should dry in its correct shape. So, if you walked home and you're, you're a grabber and your hat looks like that, you don't want your hat to dry like that. Pop it out. Look for the factory shape that's in there. It'll pop back. Just gently pop it. And the pinch. Pinch just... See, it's like a nice sort of a sideways D shape there. You could look at the shadows just to make sure everything is straight. Okay, I want my crown to dry just like that. Now I want my brim to be straight. Put my hands around it. You could do this. Or you could even put it at the edge of the table and just kind of go like that. If it's got a big brim, that's a good way to flatten the brim quickly. Not flatten it, uh, get it straight. You know, get kinks out of it. Hang it up. No pinching. Did I just pinch it? Okay, check it. All right, put it up, let it dry away from heat. One, two, three steps. I think that's about it. Um, the next day, take a look at your hat. It should be cool. Now, um, if there are any problems, you probably can steam it back to shape if there's anything that, you know, curled or whatever. But there really shouldn't be. If you just follow those three steps, your, your hat should dry pretty well. Um, just to show you again, this is a, you know, a very typical hat that comes in here. Losing the snap, crooked flat brim, pinched crown, overly soft, wind cord is coming off. You know, all these things can be fixed, um, especially when it's a really good hat. But, you know, you can see these are basically the same models. The Classico, the Classico Plus. You can see the difference in the brim. Um, you know, I steam my hat occasionally, but not really much. I really don't. Um, too busy steaming other hats. I basically just hang it up and I leave it stock. Um, I don't mess with it. I don't change the shape a lot with steaming. I only change the shape, you know, without steam like this with my hands. And I keep the stock shaping. Um, when the hat gets wet, I just make sure everything's in its correct shape like this. I hang it up, check the brim, sort of straighten it a little bit, make sure that curve is nice and even. Okay. Hang it up away from heat. That's why the hats look good. Um, keep them off the brims when they get wet. Okay, thanks for watching, and any questions, just use the comments below. I'd be glad to help you guys out with any hat-related issues. Take care.